Welcome to the Creative Friends and Nerdy Talkers. Today we're talking nerdy about Facebook. We're talking super nerdy. Four things to do with your Facebook account today. Today. Because not only are you going to save yourself headache, you're going to save your friends headache. You're going to protect your account and your friends accounts. And you're going to have a better experience on Facebook. You know, have you ever come to Facebook and you're like, ah, I just want to leave Facebook. You can fix that. You have control of that. And then, of course, think about what happens to Facebook, your Facebook account, after you're gone, after you moved on to the next realm. Let's talk about it today. My name is Rolga. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let's get started. So the first thing, you would think the first thing I should talk about is two-factor authentication, but it's not what I'm talking about. The very first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to hide your friends list. And I totally show you how to do all these that I'm going to be talking about today in the Creative CEO Cove Facebook group, completely free. Ask to join and come on in and you'll see the trainings in there. So let's get started. Hiding your friends list protects you and your friends. First of all, if someone comes to your profile with the intent to hack it, but they can't because you got two-factor authentication, they may be able to hack one of your friends if your friends list is available. And that's a bummer. Let's not do that. <laughs> Second thing is, is that exactly you're protecting your friends from being hacked and they don't always need full access into your account if your friends list is right there for them to see. You're just going to be telling Facebook, I want to be the only person who can see my friends list. Simple setting. So now the second thing is, well, two-factor authentication. Now I have a love hate with this because it is a bit annoying, <laughs> but let's just be clear. This is essential, especially if you're running a business. If you have like a uh, Facebook page and maybe a little store hooked up with Instagram, all that stuff, Facebook has a commerce account on you and that means they have a lot of information on you. So two factor authentication, essential. Again, it's in your settings. Again, we'll show you in the creatives code. So what happens is that you'll be sent, you have the option of it sending you an email or text. I always choose text. It sends you a code and then it'll, you'll be able to log into your Facebook account. It will also ask you if it want, if you want them, if you want Facebook to remember this browser, remember this computer, I always say yes, but it never remembers it because I have this on, I guess it's doing its job, but that's a little annoying. I wish it would remember me for amount of time and then it doesn't seem to. Maybe you have a different experience, but that's what I find annoying about it, but it is important. So if you get that code and you did not ask to sign into your Facebook account, that means someone's trying to sign in. So you want to make sure that you get your security intact, change the password, all those things. That security code, never give it to anybody. Well, of course, maybe like I, I share it with my husband or you know what's happening. But I'm saying, say you get a code and then you get a text message. This is one that's been used to get them. It's quite sneaky, eh? And you get a text message saying, oh, you have, um, hey, can you send me the authorization code? I'm trying to retrieve my Facebook account. You have my old number. I don't have access to that number anymore, of course. And I can't, and I'm trying to get access to my Facebook account. Ah, yeah. You know, a lot of nice people would say, oh, sure, I'll help you out careful my friends never give that number out people can be quite cunning and convincing so never give that number out no matter what unless you know exactly what's going on you asked for it or you know who you're giving it to so that is number two number three is about building a better experience on facebook so you come on facebook and you see these posts from your friends and you're like oh i just really am kind of tired about this Instead of unfriending them, which can create more drama, or maybe it's a family member that you really don't want to, you know, unfriend them. You, 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 you know, you want to check on them every once in a while and see what's going on in their life. But you don't want to see this stuff in between every single day. Everyone on our friends list, we have a choice. We have two choices. So once we become friends, two things happen. We become friends and we follow each other. And we can either unfollow each other or unfriend each other. So when we unfollow, what happens is we stay friends. We stay on each other's friends list, but we don't see the other person's content so much. When we unfollow that person, we don't see their content on our newsfeed as much. Now, at first you may see it. Okay. But it'll kick, it'll kick in 
and you won't see their content as much. Then they get no notice that you have unfollowed them versus unfriending, which also they don't get any notice, but they might notice. They just might notice that you unfriended them. And then the fourth thing, being aware that our Facebook really acts like a digital diary. It's a story of our life coming from us directly in our own words, our own message. And this kind of thing is something that family and friends may want to have access to or you want to give them access to it upon your death. So you have this person assigned or you can tell Facebook other options what you want done with your account. So that's something pretty important to do and pretty simple to do as well. All right, friends, so there it is. I hope that is helpful for you. I hope you have gained some insight in how you can manage your Facebook to be just what you want it and need it to be for you personally and for your business. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.